What's going on everyone? Steven here. Today I'm going to be doing a Terraria video. It's been a while since I've done Terraria. Um, this game is a perfect example for what I want to show you. If you've seen my Mono Dissector video, or you saw the Mono Dissect video that I did recently with Cuphead, uh, this is going to be similar to that. So with Mono, Cheat Engine looks for uh, DLLs related to games that are made using Mono. Uh, but then you have .NET based games. And with those, we have similar symbol names that could mean something to us and allow us to create cheats and find functionality that maybe you can't scan for or something, you know? Or maybe you can scan for it, but it would take you a lot longer to do that than it would to do what I'm going to show you here, okay? So I have Terraria open, I have Cheat Engine, um, I have the process opened in Cheat Engine. I'm going to click the Memory View button. That's going to bring up the Memory Viewer. Now I'm going to click View and then enumerate DLLs and symbols. Bam! All right, so you get this that pops up. I'm interested in terraria.exe. Click the arrow. All right, now what you can do is scroll through this list and you just look at the symbol names here and see if they mean anything to you. And if they do, you can double click on them It'll take you to the subroutine of that method. You can try some different things in it, see what happens, and yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Since I've already gone through this and picked out a few things, I'm just going to jump in. So if you right click, you can say find and then type in a symbol name here. So the first one I'm going to do is terraria, terraria dot hit tile colon colon add damage find. Okay, the ones that end in underscore IL, don't use those. They're not going to work for you. So I hit find again, and here we go. Add damage. I'm going to double click that. Now watch back here in the background. Boink. Alright, I'm going to close that, drag this over to my other monitor. Alright, we are at the prologue of this function, this method. Uh, and now what we can do, so what do you think that means? Terraria dot hit tile add damage. When you hit a tile, it adds damage. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's see what that maybe does in the game. I'm going to bust out my axe and see. All right, so this is the normal how long it takes to cut down a tree. So just out of curiosity to see what happens... Let's double click that. I'm going to copy this so I can paste it back. And I'm going to do ret and say OK. You know, on that first bite of the subroutine. Come back into the game. Let's see what happens when I hit another tree now. One hit. What happens when we use the pickaxe on something? Also one hit. Sweet. Uh, it might work on blocks that normally you couldn't break initially, you know, until you got the right tool that would allow you to break that type of block. Maybe. Uh, anyway, so, all right, that's cool. That was a quick cheat done. Let's come back here, double click. I'm going to paste what was there. Hit OK. Um, now what I'm going to do, bring this back over. Go back to the top, right click, find... And we're going to do terraria.player, colon, colon, hurt, find. All right, that one ends in IL, not interested. Again, not interested. Here we go, hurt. Let's double click that. What do you think that one has to do with? Okay, I'm going to drag this back over. Double click here. Copy, ret, okay. Come back over here in the game. Let's find us an enemy and see what happens when the enemy hits us. Look at that. Collision is completely gone, basically. This is almost better than a no damage cheat because there's no knockback, nothing's happening. <laughs> 
So that's a pretty good cheat. Can I damage the enemy though? Yes, I can. Pretty awesome. Quick and easy. I'm going to double click that. I'm going to paste what was there. Say OK. Come back into the game just so you can see. Boink. All right. Finally, I'm going to bring the Enumerate DLLs window back in here. Go back to the top. The reason I'm going back to the top is because if your result is way down here and you do a control F for something that is above your result, it won't find it. So I'm going to go here, say find, uh, and, well, you could say search entire file maybe, and I don't know why these are grayed out at the moment. Anyway, I just like to go to the very top and start my search over. So we're going to go Terraria, UI, item slot, colon, colon, left click, go find, all right, IL, not interested, find, Okay, here we go. Uh, wait, that's an IL, not interested. Okay. All right, now here's one thing I want to show you. Sometimes you can have the same symbol name. Um, I don't know if these are just different instances of the same class or what, um, or if it's the same method within different classes. I'm not sure, but anyway. So what do you think this has to do with? When you left-click on an item in an item slot, right? Perhaps. So what I'm going to do now is a break and trace. And what happens is if you choose the wrong one, which you don't know it's the wrong one until you do it, <laughs> and then you're like, why isn't this working? Well, maybe there's the same symbol name farther down. You could search for that. Uh, but yeah, you won't have the break and trace trigger uh, with the one that doesn't work. All right. I'm going to double click on the bottom one. I think the bottom one is the one I want. Drag this back over here. Okay. I'm going to right click here, say break and trace instructions. Save stack snapshots. Step over instead of single step. I'm going to click OK. This will attach the debugger. Yes. Bam. That pops up. All right. Now I'm going to left click on the wood here. And bam. Bam. Okay, so why did I want to do that? Well, what if we want to try to make a cheat where whenever you left click on something, it gives you 999 of that? Sounds cool. Well, the break and trace, what was that useful for? Well, hopefully somewhere in here, we're going to see 395. Okay, we're going to see it either represented in hex or as decimal 395. So if you need to bring up calc and make sure you're in programmer mode and then as decimal we can go 395 and then look here hex will be 18B. So you can just kind of keep that around if you want. But now the idea is you go through each one of these instructions here and you look for, let's see, like this is a pointer to a memory address. So you'll see that memory address right here as well as the value that's in it. Okay. Um, and then you can also look at values in the registers here. So we want to look for a decimal value of 395 or a hex value of 18B. In registers, you'll see the hex values, but up here, if there is a value, uh, like decimal value, that's being pointed to, it'll show that in decimal and hex here. So I'm going to spare you the time of going through each of these instructions because I've already done that. And I know that this one here has uh, that value. All right. So now what we can do, this is a compare. That's cool. All we're interested in is that this pointer right here is pointing to the memory address that has this value in it. But because it's a register with an offset, uh, presumably whichever item we click in here uh, will get the total for that item. All right. So what if we do a cheat, uh, we do an injection here based on this instruction 
that before this compare happens, right, we put a value in here. So let's double click this, come in here, all right, right here, we can say tools, auto assemble, all right, template, let's do full injection, say okay, all right, define address, uh, we can say, if we want, terraria dot ui dot item slot colon colon left click plus 279 that should work for us as address define bytes cool um, okay so we've got our jump that's happening now here in code we can say move into eax plus 80 I know there's a bunch of zeros preceding it, but you don't need to worry about that. Uh, number 999. Let's try that. File assigned to current cheat table. Okay. We'll close this. Go back into this. We could say 999 items left click. Enable it. Hope we don't crash. Hope it enables. If it doesn't enable, then this assert or this define isn't working the way that I thought it might work. So for the time being, let's just go back. You could do an AOB scan, but um, I'm going to just, well, hang on. Control C, get rid of this template. Uh, let's just do a and B, AOB injection and we'll say 999. Okay, and code here, paste that. There we go. Ah, dang it, maybe 999 wasn't the best thing to name that. Using a number might not work, so. <laughs> let's try this one more time. AOB injection, yep, let's call it ASDF, bam. Okay, back at code, paste what we did. Okay. And we'll say OK. All right. And let's try to enable it now. Bam. OK, we're good. So we see our injection happened here. Uh, let's left click on an acorn. Look at that. 999. But because it's left click, it doesn't just happen here. What about this coin here? It happens there. What about when we make a torch? Doesn't happen at this point. So this is what we do in here, okay? So presumably anything in this area. Over here, you, there's probably another subroutine or something within this, uh, this same subroutine that when you left click in this region, um, you have whatever you want, 999, right? So anyway, that's just kind of a quick way to show you now, let's put that back the way it should be. Uh, well, let's see if I left click now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and it starts sorting itself out as you do that. Anyway, okay, um, that's pretty much it. Y there's so much stuff to find. If you have Terraria, I highly recommend you do this and just go through all this stuff and play around because it's pretty epic, everything that you can do. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing more Terraria videos, probably some specific cheats uh, again, because a lot of people are interested in some Terraria videos. Uh, if you haven't yet, go check out my Cuphead Let's Hack series. I'm also starting a Let's Hack series on the game Elex, so go check that out. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.